What is on guys? Trent Sakuna like video and in today's video I'm gonna talk about the Ole Miss offensive coordinator and his name is Jeff Webby. Now this is his first season at Ole Miss and I'm just gonna tell you guys this dude does not get enough credit for what he does. Um, I mean many people talk about Lane Kiffin being a very smart offensive guy, has a very good offensive mindset um, and but Jeff Webby Deserves a bunch of credit too. I mean, this guy is a very smart guy as well, just like Lane Kiffin. Um, and to be honest with you, um, Jeff Webby, he is going to be a head coach, um, you know, somewhere pretty soon. You know, if it's this year, next year, um, I'm just going to be honest with you. He's not going to be at Ole Miss forever, or he's definitely not going to be the offensive coordinator forever. This dude will be a head coach somewhere pretty soon for sure. And there have been a couple of schools who's been looking at him this uh, this off season. And it kind of looks like uh, the University of UCF, uh, Central Florida. Um, it kind of looks like there's a good chance he might be heading there. Now, for you guys who may not know, that is where Jeff Webby came from before he went to Ole Miss. Jeff Webby was at Central Florida uh, before he came to Ole Miss. Um, so who knows? You know, Jeff Webby might go back to uh, might go back to UCF. That's where he came from. But uh, you know, he was the offensive coordinator down there at UCF. Um, but now UCF is looking at him as a head coach. And to be honest with you, um, this is just my honest opinion. Of course, you know, as a coach, you would much rather be a head coach than an offensive coordinator. Uh, I'm also just assuming uh, UCF will probably pay him more money than what Ole Miss will as a coordinator. And, you know, if you're Jeff Levy, I mean, this is kind of an offer you can't say no to. A head coach position, you know, more money coming as well. Now, this is not, you know, it's not been officially announced yet that he's been off the job. It's not been uh, true that UCF is even looking at him. But there has been many rumors. And, you know, if you just read a bunch of information, it just kind of all makes sense. So, um, most likely, I do believe if, if UCF offers him a head coaching position, and you know if it's for more uh, more money than what he is making at Ole Miss, I don't think he can say no. But um, I'm gonna talk about the other candidates as well for UCF. So let me actually tell a little story here, right quick. UCF just hired a new athletic director last week, and his name is uh, his name is Terry. Mohair, I think it's how you pronounce it, or close to it. But Mr. Terry came from Arkansas State. Now, Arkansas State was also looking for a head coach this offseason as well. And what's interesting is, Mr. Terry wanted Jeff Webby to come to Arkansas State. But long story short, Arkansas State did have enough money to buy, uh, and, you know, to get Coach Levy. So Arkansas State had to get Butch Jones. But from what I've heard, I heard Coach Levy was the number one choice. They just didn't have enough money. But now, since Mr. Terry is at UCF, and just to be honest, UCF is a bigger school. They have more money than Arkansas State. I'm pretty sure UCF has enough money to get Coach Webby now. But, um, you know, if UCF decides not to get Coach Webby, uh, here's a couple more candidates as well. You have Gus Malzahn, who is the former Auburn football coach, which was also at Arkansas State before he came to Auburn. So there's another Arkansas State connection right there. You also have another former Auburn coach, Gene Chizik. Uh, I've also been hearing um, 
a guy by the name of Rhett Lashley. He is the Miami offensive coordinator. And I believe he was at Arkansas State one year as well. And um, that's pretty much the options or the candidates I've been seeing over and over again. And to be honest with you, I do believe Coach Levy is your first choice. Or if it's not Coach Levy, um, it's probably Malzahn. I do believe Coach Levy and Malzahn is your top two options. And... Um, it will not surprise you one bit if Coach Webby decides to leave Ole Miss any day. If they, I mean, I'm still, you know, just assuming stuff here. I'm just assuming they've offered him a contract that we're going to pretty soon. And if it is for a head coaching position, if it is for, you know, if it is for more money, and you, know, you just, you can't say no to it. But uh, from what I've been hearing, the rumors... Um, if they do offer him this job, and I'm pretty sure it, you know, there's a good chance UCF will offer him this job, he is probably going to be gone. So who will the Nets Ole Miss offensive coordinator be if he does leave? I have no idea. I have to do more research on that. But, um, you know, this is kind of my thoughts and opinions from an Ole Miss fan right quick. Of course, as an Ole Miss fan, I don't want to see him leave. But, um, you know, just to be honest, I kind of knew he wasn't going to be here forever. You know, definitely by the, you know, you know, definitely by the third, fourth, fifth game this year, it was obvious he's a pretty good coach, very smart guy. Um, I think Ole Miss fans could probably tell this dude's not going to be here forever. I mean, the dude's going to be in a bigger... The dude's going to be at a better college or, you know, a head coaching position somewhere pretty soon. He's not going to be the offense coordinator Ole Miss forever. Uh, but that is just kind of my opinion, thoughts, take on the situation. And that's pretty much all I got. So, guys, uh, if you guys want to comment on this video, if you're an Ole Miss fan, UCF fan, uh, you know, no matter what team you root for, if you want to give your thoughts, opinions on this as well, uh, go ahead. I always enjoy reading the comments and people's thoughts and opinions and questions. Always enjoy hearing the feedback. So uh, that will be it for this video. So please like, comment, subscribe. That is going to be it for this video. And guys, hi tidy.